Hi, it's Kofi here. This time around, um, just uh, instead of in the simulator, laptop simulator, I'm just flying around our office at the moment. And it's still practice and more practice. I am trying to get the hang of it as much as I can, able to go through tight spaces like this one. But um, there's still room for improvement and I hope to kind of perfect it. So I'm able to fly around like pretty well and um, it works well so far. So this is more like a quick office tour. I've done some tweaks on the drone and it's not perfect to an extent. And this also doesn't have the GoPro attached to it. So this is the office space and the guys are over here playing FIFA in the middle of the day, you know, life is good for them. Um, so kind of like try not to go too high before I hit the ceiling fan. Anyway, so going through doors like this seems to be working for me, but um, I went shooting uh, a hotel, I think on Monday, and I really struggled going through uh, smaller spaces. I think I had an issue with my blades and have currently changed the blades to a blade I, I didn't realize I even had in my item. So this one kind of flies a little bit okay. The, the only problem I can think of is that it kind of like um, tilts forward a little bit. Now, forgive the jittery happening here at the moment. I think it's the um, stabilization translation I did on the video is what is causing that to happen, whatever. In any case, when I'm, when I'm flying the drone, like by default, the front blades are a bit different from the ones behind, which um, what I've realized is the blades in front do not have big enough surface area and so the the lift from the front is not as much as the one from behind so but um when left alone the drone kind of slightly probably like maybe um three to five degrees tilts a little bit forward because of the slightly less trust from the front blades um i am hoping to get same blades for all um, four uh, uh, rotors, but until that, I'm gonna manage with this. Even the blades at the back of it, it's not as, um, it's got some bruises on, on it and it doesn't seem to be cutting through the air as perfectly as possible. So that's me here going through, you know, doors and stuff like that. I'm also able to have a bit more control and flexibility on it at this point because it doesn't have the GoPro attached to it. I realize the GoPro is very heavy to an extent that it weighs the drone and trying to control it in, in, um, with, with the GoPro attached is kind of relatively difficult. But I'm scared of attaching it also because I've crashed the GoPro in a way that the screen is currently crashed. So I'm just trying to play cautious and not, you know, break it even more. Um, yeah, so I, as I was saying, I did a shoot on Monday. Kind of got some really nice shots it was a hotel um, if you want to see some of the videos you can check the other channel to learn more so that's about it bye